Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video I want to be talking about port forwarding. So port forwarding is actually pretty simple to do if you know what you're doing of course. So what you're going to want to do first is go ahead and type in CMD into your or go ahead and hit Windows R and type in CMD and type in IP config. So this is going to give you a little bit of information of what you're connected to. So right here is your IPv4 address which is your local address. And then down here is your default gateway, and your default gateway is going to take you to a lot of places. So all you're going to have to do is go into Google Chrome, and go ahead and type in your default gateway IPv4 address, which is those four numbers. So mine's 192.168.1.1. And it's going to go ahead and open up this little prompt. Now, your router may have a username and password on it on the back of the router. So go to your router and see if it does. And if it doesn't and you've never set it up before, it'll be the default connection. So for the Cisco Linksys router that I'm using, the username is nothing and the password is admin. And we're in. So we don't have to worry about um, having to find out a password ourselves. Uh, there are websites you can go to like, what is my router login? and you can always go to a either the Netgear page or the router login pro and it'll tell you your router login by default and this is when you're gonna start having some trouble you may be looking at this like what is going on but in reality it's pretty simple so for this router right here I have a little tab called application and gaming and you'll see here that this has a lot of different tabs that I can go to we don't have to worry about anything. For some people, it might be under advanced, or it might be under the wireless settings, etc. So go ahead and just hit applications and gaming, or whatever it is for you. And it's gonna have a single port forwarding. So this is good. So don't worry about any of this, because these are just propri proprietary um, ports that you can always port forward. And go down to here. And go ahead and name it Minecraft. It might look a little different for you, but the end is the same. And for the external port, go ahead and type in 25565. And for the internal port, do the same. For the protocol, you want both TCP and UDP. And if you don't have the ability to do that, just go ahead and make one TCP and one UDP. After that, you're going to see two IP address. So, in order to establish where your IP address is, it should be right here under IPv4 address. So mine's 192.168.1.108. It already fills in most of this, so all I have to do is type in 108. And I'm going to go ahead and enable it. And you can save your settings. And it should say your settings have been successfully saved. And go ahead and continue. So now, all I have to do is go into my AutoCraft server. So once you're in the server properties, you should see here server IP. And it should be blank. So all this means that it's going to attach yourself to the IPv4 address that's in your table. So you don't have to worry about that. And then right here it'll say server port. And if you've done it correctly, this should say 25565. Which is exactly the one that you port forwarded here. So I'm going to go ahead and save settings again just to confirm. And then I'm good. And you can exit out of here. And then go ahead and exit out of this. And you can also exit out of this, which is pretty simple. And then all you have to do is start your server again. Let me just find the run bat in here. Oops, I must have taken it out at some point. Go ahead and run your server and then let it load up. All right, now that the server is loaded up, you can see by seeing the done in 13 seconds or type help. You're going to want to go to ipchicken.com and you're going to want to copy whatever address this is. This is the address that you'll give out to people outside of your network. If you're playing locally with people, you can simply use the IPv4 address that you found within your command prompt. So this one right here. Using this one is only for people playing either on your internet or within your house. So don't give it to the people that you want to connect externally from outside your house. For the external ones, you're going to want to give them this one so they have access to get into your router and then enter your game. But for yourself, 
you can either use the local host which I've done here which is simply your IP and or you can type in the IP before address here if everything is working you will be able to see that when I typed in the IP of my IP address that it's right here and you should verify that you're able to play the game and log in and you'll see that it's loading in with all my mods and once you're logged in you're good and you have successfully port forwarded your server if you have any errors please let me know in the comments uh, there's a lot of errors going around with uh, the Windows firewall so I've turned off my firewall but if you need a video showing how to get like bypass it and allow a port through the wire or the firewall please let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching peace